Oh. Yes, sir. Is this the one that's open 24 hours? The, they, they all are. The sign that it's parked in front of. It says visitors only? Yeah, no HCSO vehicles. What about it? That's an HCSO vehicle. Okay, sir. Sir, my name is Deputy Clark, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Okay. ID 173949. Okay. You can go. That's okay. I'm free to stay. Yes, sir. No, you can go. It's public property. Sir, you can go. Why do I have to go? Sir, you can go. Do you have a supervisor? Can I speak to your supervisor? Sir, you can go. Why? I'll send a supervisor out here. Why do I have to leave? First Amendment aside, that's a pretty bold way to talk to a law enforcement officer. I'm Peter Bush. Uh, let D3 know that the 13 Papa from the other night with the vest on, mm -hmm. the guy that follows us around, mm -hmm. he's back. Visitor only. No HCSO employee parking. Then, you look at it, it's literally an HCSO vehicle. Got the laptop, the RSA keys. What's the tag on this? Delta, India, Lima, Tango, 2-3. Is this the one that's open 24 hours? They, they all are. This, this is District 5. What do you need? Oh, I was just curious. Um, whose car is that out there? Um, who are you? Oh, I'm just a concerned citizen. Whose car is that out there? What do you mean, whose car? The red unmarked car out there. Okay. Yeah. You said you're a concerned citizen? Yes. Yeah, I'll okay. show you. What are you concerned about? Uh, well, specifically, that sign right there. What sign? The sign that it's parked in front of. It says visitors only? Yeah, no HCSO vehicles. What about it? That's an HCSO vehicle. Okay, sir. Can I get someone to move that, please? Excuse me? Can I get someone to move that, please? Why? It's lawfully there. It literally, sign says not to park it there. Okay, sir. Can I get your name and ID? Sir, my name is Deputy Clark, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Okay. ID 173949. Okay. 
You can go. That's okay. I'm free to stay. Yes, sir. No, you can go. It's public property. Sir, you can go. Why do I have to go? Sir, you can go. Do you have a supervisor? Can I speak to your supervisor? Sir, you can go. Uh, I'll send a supervisor out here. Why do I have to leave? One, who are you? I don't have to identify myself. Okay. And what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm what are you doing? No, what are you being doing? Being a vigilant citizen who is concerned about his community and sees that. Okay, sir. Have a good night. Is your body cam even on? Sir, have a good day. I'll wait here for the supervisor. Sir, I closed that door. What did you just do? Huh? Did I close that door? What did you just do? I was going to ask you a question. Sir, you can you can you can wait. I was okay. closing the door. Can I grab some water? No, you cannot. No? No, sir. Okay. They said it's open 24 hours. Office, District 5, how can I help you? Oh, never mind. Hello. Hi, how can... Good. Good. How are you? Good. Is that your vehicle? Yeah, that's Can I get your name and ID, please? Yeah. Laura Fakirik. Fakir... How do you spell that? 610967. 610967? 210. Oh, 210967. Okay, yeah. thank you. Is it okay if I grab some water since it's open 24 hours? Do you need just water? Yeah. Okay. Guy, he was starting to yell at me earlier about it, but... He said it was open 24 hours when I went to walk back in to grab some water. He was like, what are you doing? Okay. Hello? So it's open 24 hours. Is it alright if I grab water? No. No? Not allowed to get water? No. Why not? Because he's running the lobby and if okay. he doesn't, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what your purpose is. Well, so I go around and let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm a concerned citizen uh -huh. who goes around the state of Florida. Uh, in fact, actually I've gone multiple places throughout the country. I try and document good law enforcement officers happen to catch a lot of bad law enforcement officers, ones that don't obey policies, directives, etc. So the reason I stopped here was because I saw online that it's open 24 hours. When I asked him, he said it's open 24 hours. If it's public lobby, it's open 24 hours. Obviously, you know, the door is locked. However, it states that it's open 24 hours. There's a publicly accessible water fountain. One, it's, you know, obviously being dark, it's still kind of hot out, very humid. So, you know, Wanted to get water and happened to notice a unmarked HCSO vehicle mm -hmm. parked in, in front of a sign that says visitors only, no HCSO vehicles. Yeah. So, yeah, I apologize. I'm close to 50. Mm -hmm. So I need to go to the bathroom. I've been no, out on patrol for about five yeah. hours. So I, I was in a no, hurry. No, I get it. I get it. But I mean, I'm not trying to chastise you or anything, but there's mm -hmm. spots there, spots over on the other side. So, are you the supervisor? One of them? Okay. Is there another supervisor I can speak to? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Can I get a complaint form? I don't have a complaint form. No. If you can, if you want to go online. Well, you, usually you guys have them here in the, the lobbies. 
I do not even, to be honest with you, I'm not. Sure. you want to go online and do it have you been you obviously have been on our website okay. never been on there well you just said you looked on and you said we're it I said looked at google maps it said open 24 hours okay so because i kept looking on there where it says open 24 hours a day and I yeah i walked the whole perimeter and i didn't see anything that said open 24 hours but online yeah. it says it is so well i mean that's yeah. google that's not us no, but generally, in order to change the hours, somebody has to confirm that they're either associated or with the business. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I didn't give it. Okay, I'm asking you. That's all right. So, okay, you just want to say no, I don't want to give my name? No. Okay. All right, well, I mean, I think a lot of that goes the same way. Mm -hmm. You want to be, you want respect out of us, I would yeah. hope that you would give the same. Oh, absolutely, so. and, and like it's... I'm under no obligation to do so. Uh, if like, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to chastise you or anything like that. Florida statute affords me the right to remain anonymous mm -hmm. whenever I see something, especially complaints. I also don't have to identify myself when I'm out in public unless mm -hmm. I've, you know, committed a crime, which I haven't, but... We're in the middle of an investigation. Of? So, I didn't say you're in the middle of an investigation oh. now. I said, or in the middle oh. of an investigation. Well, and even then, you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion, you know, based on key factors such as, you know, vicinity of the area, what kind or of crime. Or witness of involved in. Yeah, all yeah, of that. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, so, but, you know. Well, I mean, that's fine. So, yeah. I mean, enjoy your evening. Thank you. Hello? Good morning. Oh, good <laughs> morning. Hello? Yeah, I was wondering if I could get a drink of water. Oh, okay, sir. You're the guy that was outside? Yes. Was yes. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. First Amendment aside, I'm Peter Bush. First Amendment aside. Hey, Mr. Alpatin. Wait, Naples. Hold on, 13 Papa. Robert's on the jail. Called in by one of the deputies advising of a 13 male that's wearing a bulletproof vest in a parking garage. Walking up to deputy. Last seen on the third floor. Apparently, uh, we've been out with him before from the other night. Yeah, for, uh, 17 LB 51 and any other available unit. From day six. Naples, Jackson. I have a little volume. I switched over. I'm sorry. Do you have any... Any updates? Thank you. Okay, send the call to any available day shift unit, please. Being the nine, turn up. Three Alpha 31, you can say to me. Okay. Enables 3 Alpha 20, LV 51, 31. Okay. 3 Alpha 11, 3 Alpha 10. Great. My computer's not working. Um, I'm near the government center. Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, Naples. I locked 30, 89, and stopped it off. Yeah, uh, 13P, wearing a bulletproof vest, so be careful, wait for backup.